conversation started here. We're going to start talking about postpartum depression. postnatal postpartum depression and to prevent postpartum depression. This is pretty much so that people can help themselves. Daddies can help mommies. Mommies can help daddies. Um, all around family can help mommies, a cousin, niece, sister, neighbor, anything, anybody that you know that might be going through postpartum depression. This is just something, little tidbits uh, to help out with that. Personally, I went through postpartum depression myself. So this is something that I'm very passionate about. Um, it was something that a lot of people helped me with, uh, my family, my friends, and I just wanna share that back to the world. Oops, falling over. <laughs> so um, this is part one, and I'm just gonna start with the preface of how important it is to bond with your baby. Um, the bond is a building and lasting relationship between a parent and a child. The first five years are the building blocks that ensure there is trust, reliability, and protection. A child needs to see how trustworthy you are as a parent. Can he rely on you? He or she rely on you? How reliable are you when you come to her when they're hungry, uncomfortable, um, in pain? Will you be there to protect them when him or her to when they feel unsafe or hurt? The next five years is essential, but the next first year is crucial. And but without proper care to yourself as a mother who just gave birth, um, how will you be able to provide these things for your baby? So this is step one, part one video. Step one is daddy bonding. Daddy bonding, which I have in the description of this video as well. I will also post up that article very, very soon right after this. Um, but it's just very important. And I find that the more I talk about daddy bonding with daddies as they are totally up for it they're totally willing they want to engage they want to be part of their child's life they want to be um their bonding and with their baby now if you find a daddy which of course there is daddies that don't want anything to do with child rearing don't know what to do with child rearing don't know how to do child rearing they're just afraid for some reason that they might hurt the child or sometimes it's even mommy. Mommy prevents the daddy from in, um, engaging with the baby and that's totally a thing too. Sometimes mommies are a little bit too overprotective of their offspring and don't even allow daddies to have the space to bond with their own child. So <laughs> Uh, here are a few things that for daddies who don't know what to do, which is perfectly normal if you're a first-time daddy, you're not going to know. I was a first-time mommy. I didn't know any of these things. I read books. I went to child um, birthing classes. I read many articles online. I talked to other parents, and I was very curious about how this whole parenting, becoming a parent uh, is. So let me just share a few things that daddies can do in order to bond with their infants. Because here's the thing, infants, they're cute little chubby warm little worms. <laughs> they're not really engaging yet. They're not really, um, I would say they're conscious, but they're not really Re responsive compared to like a toddler or like a, a young child that's six, seven, eight, and older. Infants are very, very new and they're very sensational beings. So everything to do with, with sound, anything to do with touch, smell, um, and then eventually when they're able to see better, within a month they could see, you know, six inches up to 12 inches away from their face and up to three months 
they can actually start seeing the world around them. But before that, they're kind of just blindly wiggling about. Um, so daddy bonding, let's begin. I'm so excited for this. Um, take turns caring for the child. The female body is not the only one between mommy and daddy that changes after birth. Believe it or not, and this is a really huge surprise for me. I was, I did not know this at all. Um, one of the changes that happens in daddy bodies happens from when the child is four to six weeks born. In that time, there is a decrease in testosterone, but an increase in dopamine. This change in hormones allows fathers to focus on bonding with the child. So our bodies naturally already create a space for this to happen. And what that means is daddies need to be physically ready. Their bodies get them physically ready to bond. You know, testosterone is the mark known hormone in males it get, and in females too it gives you drive it gives you energy it wants you to you want to do things you want to take action you want to get things done and you're getting that done with testosterone um but when it comes to child rearing that's a little bit too much energy for a baby so what your body body does lowers that down calm down daddy and allows a new door to open for dopamine. So what dopamine does, it is a hormone that allows us to feel good. It is a hormone that feel we, we feel after sex. It is a hormone we feel after hugs. It is a hormone we feel when we're singing, when we're dancing, when we're bonding with family, with friends, when we're drinking. So this hormone allows us to bond, daddies to bond with their babies. There are different ways to accomplish bonding between daddies and babies. There is infant massage classes that you can take at any hospital near you. Usually um, they do provide, hospitals around this area do provide that. So for me, I, I'm in Los Angeles and I went to Beverly Hospital. Beverly Hospital sent me out to a smaller clinic and that clinic had uh, infant massage classes. Now, I am a massage therapist, so this was something that I was interested in getting to know, not only for my practice, but especially for my child. So that is something daddies can do. Um, look for an infant massage class. There's also way, way simpler things you can do at home. You can do the infamous skin to skin. So what you do is you dress down yourself and the baby. Baby could stay inside a diaper and you lay him or her on your chest. And this is the thing about this. It seems so, okay, well they just lay on my chest, what's the big deal? Here, This is the big deal. So babies are all about sensation. They're all about smells, they're all about sounds, they're all about touch. So physical touch creates this bond with babies. Um, this is how they do it a lot for children who are abandoned, foster babies, adopted babies. Um, touch is so powerful, so powerful under five years old that not only does it enhance uh, emotional well-being, but your neurons in your brain grow thicker, um, the white matter grows thicker. Um, overall, goodness, massage, infant massage, believe it or not, um, it even enhances walking, running, climbing. I can honestly say after doing uh, five to seven minutes of infant massage, maybe twice a week for my son, he was definitely a runner, a climber, a jumper. He is so fast <laughs> and he was barely two years old. We put him in soccer. Um, it didn't really work out, but it, he is definitely really out there. And I, and I totally connect that with uh, infant massage. But 
skin to skin, back to skin to skin. You can um, listen to music while they're on you. You can read a book. Um, and mommies, mommies can be the best advocates for daddies to bond or the worst advocates. It goes both ways. Um, for the best advocates, for example, mommies can pump their breast milk to allow their da daddy to bottle feed. Uh, dad can also use this time to create a bond with the child by feeding the child, holding the baby, um, being physically close, again, sensation, physically close, allowing the baby to connect the body through smell, sound, touch, and, oh, and most importantly, care. The fact that you're taking the time, you're taking the effort, you're taking the energy to hold your baby close to you, to spend that time out of your day, to talk to your baby, um, it really adds up and it, and it really creates this overwhelming, this person's gonna take care of me. This person is taking care of me. I can trust this person as an infant. Um, other great way daddies can connect is singing their favorite song as a child, listening to music. Again, infants are very sensitive. So my son was really, really sensitive to sound. So music, um, not loud music, but you know, a moderate volume it is a good is a good thing to go by. Um, I just love candles. Candles are like my thing right now. Uh, daddies can talk about what they want to do with their child as they grow up together. I even attempted to read Where the Red Fern Grows, uh, one of my childhood favorite books with my son, um, so that he could get ready for speech. And these are all just great ways to connect. And there's definitely more ways to connect. And you can be as creative as if you want. If you want your child, if you're a chef, and or a sous chef or part of the ch kitchen kitchen is your life put your child on the table or on on not physically on the table but on the car seat on the table somewhere safe and um have that be something that you can share together i used to have orion help me with that oh but that's all for today thank you guys